VHSL State Wrestling Championships wrapped up today at a packed Salem Civic Center. That's where our own Brooke Leonard had a chance to check out all the action and helps us put a bow on what was a stellar season. We start out in class three, 132 pounds. Noah Neininger of Stanton River against Phoenix Alya of Skyline. Neininger led one nothing until 25 seconds left in the match. Alya with the takedown, but then Neininger gets the reversal and holds the final 13 seconds. The sophomore is the state champ, winning in his late cousin Kip Neininger's shoes. So they were my cousin Kip's there again to me about his uh, fight, and I've been wearing them in the postseason. Last year I wore them in the regions and uh, states. So this year I did the same and I won both years. So I guess it's a little bit of good luck. Cool thing to do. And it makes it fun. Every time you look at your shoes, you think of him and just shout out all of him. Tony Roby in the crowd cheering on his son Jake wrestling in the 150 pound final against Staten Rivers Bo Ice. This was a back and forth battle. Ice taking the lead with a takedown here. He wins by decision eight to five. Jake Roby, like I, I've said it a million times, he's so tough. He he beat me the first time we went out. I got him the second time, so I knew you know this wasn't going to be a cakewalk. This kid's tough, so I just had to stay in good position. Um, Work, work my ties and do what my coaches were telling me the whole time, just listening for what they're telling me and try to implement the best and hope that it worked. In the Class 2 157-pound final, Glenver's Jake Klein entering the match undefeated, facing Clark County's Cannon Long. Klein starting fast with a takedown only 10 seconds in. He scored five unanswered points in the second period, winning by decision 7-3. to three. prepared a lot for this, so I, I was ready, and I won it two years ago and got upset last year. So it really just motivated me to come back as hard as I could for my senior year. I mean, that was my last ever high school match, so I'm proud of the way it went. But uh, definitely, uh, state finals are definitely tough matches for sure. So. In team title, Stanton River dominated Class 3. Five first-place finishers, a wrestler in nearly every weight class. The Golden Eagles get it done on the mat and are your Class 3 state champs. I'll be honest, man, we've been building for this for a couple years, and it, you know, it was one of those things that was a state title or bust mentality. You know, we've been talking to the kids all year about it, so it's just really awesome to see those kids get what they've deserved and for us to win it. At the VHSL Class 1 through 3 state championship, I'm Brooke Leonard, 10 Sports. Other team results, Royal Retreat finished third in Class 1. Grundy was the champion, while Glenver was in second in Class 2. And, of course, Stanton River got their first-ever team title.